What's up, everybody? Another knife from Hacker Forge Knives in Festus, Missouri. Thomas Hacker made this knife, and as you've seen in some of my previous reviews and videos, um, some people from work commissioned some knives for some special events from Thomas. Absolutely loved them. And then I had a knife made uh, that I worked in conjunction with him, which I call the Thomas Hacker Mountain Knife. I did a review on this, just part one. I haven't been able to go out and do much chopping yet because of uh, work and fatherhood and everything else, but I will, I will. So you can see the size comparison between the two of these uh, is pretty significant. But my wife has been interested in knives by Thomas and he showed me this and I took a picture and I showed her and she said, I would use that. I would definitely use that in the barn, the garden, and possibly hunting. So I said, is it for sale? Um, of course, Thomas, like a lot of people say, everything is for sale. <laughs> so I told him, uh, you know, package it up, wrap it in a bow or whatever. I just picked it up like this and I went ahead and bought it for her. And uh, he has he had the paracord already on here with the knots, which is pretty cool. So it's kind of set up as a neck knife, if you will. Um, he also made this sheath, and I don't know if he does a whole lot of Kydex, but he definitely has the capability in the press and everything else he showed me. So the, the retention's pretty good. Let's take a look at this thing. Pretty awesome. Uh, Warncliffe style blade with that reinforced tip on there 1095 steel uh, excuse my dirty fingernails and everything else I just got done cutting wood and weed eating and everything else we're having a bonfire tonight and I'm uh, I'm not all prettied up so I apologize but there's the mark Thomas Hacker uh, he said he was able to get a smooth finish on this because he did a cold forge I think I did this right here Kind of scratch the blade up. Uh, like I said in the past, I use the knives that I get, so sorry, hun. But I think I scratched it up using it actually. Um, this thing is very, very sharp. No doubt about that. If I can get the paper in my hand here. Um, yeah. So, very, very sharp. Um, he touches pretty much all of his blades up you know, before he sends them out, and this one is no exception. It's very, very sharp. The handle is a paper micarta, and I talked about micarta in some past videos. I want to go into too much detail there. Of course, you have a full tang. You can see that all the way down, which I love. Silver pins. Uh, a very ergonomic handle, as with his other knives. Uh, it's extremely comfortable. I love that finger choil right there. Uh, it just feels really good. Kind of locks in your hand. You're able to use it. So like I said, she's probably going to be using this 95% of the time in the barn. Or, you know, working around the horses and stuff like that. So it's a great knife. It fits her hand perfect. It's not a huge Bowie knife or anything like that. And it comes in this easy to carry case, which is pretty cool. Um, the retention is actually really good. I don't know if you can hear that. Well, it kind of locks in place there. And uh, you could put this in your pocket as well, and she might, but you also have the capability of a neck knife whenever you need it. It's there. All right. Let's do this. Let's look at some of the dimensions so you can kind of get an idea of what we're looking at. Uh, it's about seven and a half inches long. The blade itself, which I measured earlier, is about three and a quarter. I mean, it's really, really close to that. That mark there, three and a quarter as far as the cutting edge, and it goes a little bit over. So, three and a quarter. And let's see if I can actually get a weight. By placing this scale here, this is going to give away my secret of mounting a camera, but I don't care. So 3.3, try it again, 3.3. All right, so it's not a super heavy knife. I wouldn't expect it to be at this size, 
but this is something that people might not have thought of when they think of hand forged knives. You know, a lot of people are thinking of these these big knives like this mountain knife I have and the other ironwood handle knives that I did reviews on and have pictures on Instagram and everything else. Beautiful knives, but very large. You know, you're looking at 7, 11 inches. I mean, that's a big knife. So this is perfect for my wife. Um, she's going to be using it for the rest of her life. The 1095 steel is going to be great for edge retention. Whatever she needs it for, I am fully confident that this knife is going to work. And um, there definitely is a piercing ability with this tip. It's also reinforced. And it's just a great, great looking knife. So if you are interested and get anything from Thomas Hacker, um, you know, look at his portfolio. Go ahead and go on his Instagram or his Facebook and look at some of the options that he has because it's not uh, one size fits all. You know, he has large knives, small knives. He has bushcraft. I consider this more of an EDC. You know, it's the neck knife and something you can use every day in the barn or the job site or whatever. It's just fixed blade instead of a folder. So I think it's a very attractive knife as well as uh, something that's pretty sturdy and gonna last. So if you're interested, I'll put the information below in the comments and I'll put his uh, you know, Instagram, Facebook, and website. Get a hold of Thomas Hacker, ask for a quote, give him an idea, send him a picture of something that he's made or someone else has made and ask if he can do it. So he is uh, an amazing knife maker and I really, really recommend him. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, hit subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. I'm going to have a lot more knife reviews in the future. Thanks again. Have a great weekend.